how can we take the logarithm of a negative number? We know traditionally, logarithms are not defined for negative values, at least if we're talking about the real numbers. So to answer this question, we'll have to open our discussion to the imaginary world. Let's use the imaginary unit i and complex numbers. Let's remember that any complex number can be written in the form a plus bi. You might call this rectangular coordinates or a Cartesian system. Or we can represent it in terms of polar coordinates, drawing this triangle and using the legs of the triangle, r cos theta and r sine theta, instead of a and b. We can factor out that r, which is the hypotenuse of the triangle, and hey, look at that, there's the famous Euler's formula. Cosine theta plus i sine theta is e to the i theta. So any complex number can be represented as r e to the i theta, r being the distance from the origin, and theta being that angle measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. This is now very convenient to take the natural logarithm of. We can apply properties of logarithms, splitting up this product into a sum of logarithms. We're seeing natural log and e canceling out. Those are inverse functions. They undo each other. Now we know what the natural logarithm of a complex number should be. It should be the natural logarithm of r, the distance from the origin, plus i theta, theta being that angle measured counterclockwise from the x-axis. Then to find the natural logarithm of any negative real number, it's just the natural logarithm of that positive real number. Since the negative number is a distance of the positive number from the origin, that's r in this case, and we add on i times pi. That's because the negative real axis is an angle of 180 degrees counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. That's pi radians. Of course, we can extend this definition not just to negative real numbers, but any non-zero complex value. One slight issue with this is that the function is not well-defined. That is, it outputs more than one value for every input. In fact, it outputs an infinite number of values for any one input due to the nature of coterminal angles. The negative real axis is 180 degrees pi radians from the positive real x-axis, but it's also pi radians plus another two pi radians from the positive x-axis. And we could do that all day long, either counterclockwise or clockwise, and get an infinite number of results. So you might be thinking this is all well and good, we can find logarithms of negative real numbers, but do complex numbers even exist in the first place? I mean, they're imaginary, right? This video will answer that question. I'll see you in that one.